Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate new capabilities in Prism allowing authors to hide some of the header bar options that is currently exposed to the consumer users and also change the navigation style from bottom tabs which is the current default to top tabs. Now let's go into the authoring mode and go to present and under the workbook properties canvas navigation section the style property has top tabs i'm going to i'm going to choose top tabs as my style and uh, if you scroll down there is the new section that we have added to manage the header bar properties header toolbar properties so you can turn off the toggle which means that all of the options in the header bar is hidden from the consumer user or you can pick and choose the specific ones that you want to hide for example in my use case i don't want my consumer users to be able to refresh the data or export the data now let's preview the workbook and when the workbook loads in viewer mode you can see the navigation style is top tabs and the header bar options are only shown based on the settings provided by the author. In this case, uh, consumer users can only undo or redo. And because I am uh, the author of the workbook, I have uh, the pencil icon to edit the workbook. Normally, consumer users would not see that. And then the option to add notes is also enabled for end users by the author on this particular workbook. Let's go back to the edit mode and go to present. And the last capability I want to highlight is the new workbook level properties we have added to define the visualization actions. So these properties were only available at the canvas level, meaning that the author had to define the visualization actions for every single canvas that was participating in the presentation flow. Now we have improved that experience by defining those properties at the workbook level and the canvases inherit the properties at the workbook level but as an author i still get to override some of these properties at each of my canvas so for example let's just say at the workbook level the author has defined that the only toolbar options that can be shown is a maximize and nothing else and the visualization menu for interactions on the visualization is set to all but if I go to the active canvas, I can select a specific canvas and I can override those settings. For example, on my line style canvas, I want to enable the change visualization type as one of the visualization toolbar options. I want to enable add to watch list, which is a new feature we have added to the product. And I also want to disable the copy data and export of the data from this canvas. So what I've done is there is a set of settings that I've added or configured at the workbook level, which is inherited by all the canvases. At the same time, the experience provides me to override the properties at the canvas level. So if I preview the workbook now, and let's start with the first canvas, which is the Viz Enhancement. So if I go here and right click, you can see that all of the interactions is available on this canvas. But if I go to the line style canvas, select a mark and right click, you would notice that the export and copy data options is uh, disabled from the interactions on this particular canvas and you can also see that the visualization toolbar options is exposed based on the canvas override on line style canvas as supposed to the visualization canvas where the only option i have on the toolbar is to maximize a specific visualization thank you for watching this video